Wakanda forever. <laughs> Yibambe. Today I'm reviewing uh, a film. I'm reviewing Wakanda forever, which is the most recent film I've watched on big screen. And I'll just have to say this. This is one of the few times that a sequel gets so close to being better than the original or the first film. Most sequels uh, don't do justice to the original film. Wakanda Forever does not try to outdo the first film. It is what it is. It's this story. It's this story, yes, carrying on from what we watched before, but it's something new and it's something that stands on its own two feet. And that's the beauty of this story. So I loved the performance from Angela Basse, um, Leticia Wright, just this whole ensemble, Lupita Nyong'o, they just came together just as they did before and they gave us this magic. There's no point where you are left wondering whether the story is stuck. It, it kept the momentum up. And, and that's the beauty of this film. The wardrobe I loved, again, you can't go wrong with Black Panther when it comes to production design, when it comes to styling and wardrobe, fantastic. I mean, that's something which you just have to acknowledge, the soundtrack, you know what I mean? I mean, like, I'm a filmmaker, you can already see how geeky I am, I'm a geek. I mean, uh, the soundtrack was fantastic, I liked the way you have this day from Rihanna to Banner Boy. I mean, that kind of spread in terms of uh, genre in music. And um, I mean, just everything else is good. And anything else I can say beyond this would be a spoiler. Again, these are the films that you just have to watch for yourself. And what's my rating? I give it a strong 8 of a 10. Wakanda forever!